What's up, world? <clears throat> Welcome. Welcome to Game Watch with K Dog. Me and Kellum Johnson. Having a good time, man. Um, playing one of my favorite games, bro. I haven't played a game like this consistently since a game called Warzone. If a lot of early PS3 uh, owners will know, not Warzone, Warhawk, Warhawk. That game, I was hooked. I played it years straight over Call of Duty, over anything. After that game shut down, I went back to like Call of Duty, uh, a little bit of Fortnite, H1Z1, and games like that. And then when I seen Knockout City, I was like, yo, got to check this out. Uh, did the block party. The game was freaking amazing, bro. I was hooked from there. When the game came out, y'all can go look at the hours I put into this game. I am crazy of a knockout city, dog. And I just heard the freaking news that Knockout City is shutting down. Matter of fact, my friends in the Discord told me about it. I was like, no. Then when I seen another friend send me an article and everybody was posting about it, I was like, mm. And then I seen the freaking video on YouTube. And I'm about to actually watch the whole video. But... My thing is, I put a lot of hours in this game. This was my stress reliever. This game is the reason why I started the Discord. This game is the reason why I started heavily streaming. Um, and I just hate to, to see this game get shut down, man. They independent developers. Matter of fact, I'm about to go just purchase any extra characters of DLC I can do any way to, to help. Maybe if we get together and stream together, I don't know. We can do something to prevent them from shutting down because I know Rumbleverse shut down, but Knockout City shut down too, bro. That's that's freaking crazy, bro. Like so I and the one thing that really irked me is mad people talk noise about the game. Well not mad people, but select few people that diss the game, talk about the game, this and that, blah, 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 but they constantly play it every day. How do you like and play something, but at the same time, you bashing it? And, you know, just, it's crazy. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know, but that's a whole other topic. But, man, let's get into this video, man, because I don't want to talk too much. I'm kind of, kind of upset, but let's see. <laughs> I'm Jeremy. I'm the game director of Knockout City. We were hoping to pair this message with details about Season 9. Cat's out of the bag. So let's talk a bit about the overall state of the game as we get closer to the end of our second year. Velen Studios' roots are grounded in innovation. That's the goal of the company, to create innovative, fun new experiences for communities of players. Knockout City's development started with a small dev team, passionate about this wild idea. Small dev team, bro. They independent, bro. Like... Why no big streamers wanted to be a part of this game? Like, I don't know, bro. This game is an underrated freaking game, dog. This is freaking... Yeah, crazy. making a shooter with dodgeballs. Focused on simple mechanics like throwing and catching that no engine could actually support over the internet, requiring us to make an entirely new one from scratch. So they made a, a whole engine based off a game. Oh my gosh, bro. They did it so independently. And what I loved about this game, I was playing a video game that wasn't violent. You know what I'm saying? It was all, it, it ain't always killing and, you know, stuff like that. It was just dodgeball, bro. It was just pure fun. The team has grown a lot since then. And looking back at the critical acclaim we had at launch, the millions of players, the billions of KOs, the dozens of exciting game modes, all the seasons of great content ranging from aliens invading the city to a game of cat and mouse between a criminal crew and the person chasing them. I feel immensely proud of Velen Studios and everything the Knockout City team has accomplished. After almost 20 years in the industry, this is honestly my favorite game I've ever worked on. Mm. And like many of you in our community, it's also one of my favorite games I've ever played, which Thanks. I continue to do. Thanks. 
Facts. Almost every night after work. These past two years of Knockout City being live, talking to the community, and trying new things in the game has been an immensely rewarding experience, but also a tough one. I personally learned more about game development in the past two years than in the 10 before that. And the same goes for many of the people here at Velen. However, one thing that we've continued to struggle with, even after going free to play, is retaining enough of the millions of new users coming in to keep the game active and sustainable. The truth is, it's been extremely difficult for our small studio to make the kind of changes necessary to bring back a larger audience in a game that's live and needs continuous support. So the time has come for Velen Studios to take a step back take a fresh approach, and do what we do best by innovating. After very careful consideration, and as you might have already heard, we're announcing that Season 9 will be Knockout City's final season. Is there anything that we could do, bro? Could we raise some funds, money? It, it, what if we can get mad people to stream and go live just to... Ugh. And shortly after, on June 6, 2023, the servers will be shut down and the live game will no longer be playable. This was an extremely difficult decision for us. We love Knockout City and we've done nothing but eat, sleep and breathe dodgeballs, ultimate throws and deep space dispatches for years. We've been right there alongside our amazing community of players. From the heartwarming fan art to the deep theories on the lore, to the emergent techniques and strategies that made their way to the top ranks of league play and the lightning fast tournaments. So we know what this decision means for all of us. But this allows us to take everything we've learned and use it to explore more innovative changes and ideas for Knockout City and other new projects. Working on solving a lot of the challenges we're facing today in the live game. Anything could happen there and this isn't a promise that Knockout City will be back. But what I can promise is that you'll continue to see new and innovative games from Velen Studio that will but what I can anything could happen there and this isn't a promise that Knockout City will be back but what I can promise is that you'll so we got a chance to get Knockout City back continue to see new and innovative games from Velen Studios that will surprise and delight players around the world despite this news this is Knockout City baby so we're planning to go out with a massive bang we've got a packed season 9 plan with all new content you've come to expect and more then, after Season 9, we'll have a two-week celebration we're calling Thanks for the KOs. It's not just an in-game event, it's a tribute to all of you, the fans, whether you've been here since Block Party or you picked up the game just last week. The celebration will be filled with surprises, giveaways, a big final tournament for our competitive brawlers, a player-hosted version of the game that you'll be able to play with your friends after the servers go offline, and lots more that we know Knockout City fans everywhere will love, both in and out of the game. While we're sad to be saying goodbye to Knockout City in a few months, as a studio, we're excited about going back into development on what could be next. But before all that, we've got an awesome season ahead of us that we're excited to share with you when the time is right. Season 9 is launching on February 28th with a new map, a new Brawl Pass, new events, new Deep Space Dispatches, and so much more for you and your crew to enjoy. We're still working on finishing it up, and we'll share a trailer soon. But trust me when I say that we've still got some fun surprises up our sleeves that you won't want to miss. Stay tuned for more details, and until then, keep brawling. Bro, v -Land Studios is so underrated, man. They are the one. They are so key creators, man. I hope y'all see this video. I'm a stupid fan, bro. Super, super fan, bro. I appreciate y'all, man. I hope y'all really do see this video, man. Just comment, just like, just let me know that you see that I'm crying, that I'm hurt about Knockout City, bro. I guess I'm about to be playing this game freaking double time until the season's over with, man. But look, y'all, I'm a little sad right now. If anybody want to play with me on Knockout City, I'm here. Got my game here. Matter of fact, the game is <laughs> booted up right now. It stays booted up. I haven't even played Sonic Frontiers. I haven't even played the new God of War. I haven't even played Star Wars Jedi Order. I haven't played, uh, it's like two other games that I got on hold 
because I'm so happy. I'm so, uh, knockout city, man. I eat, breathe, sleep, knockout city. But I'm not gonna talk too much, y'all. That's the news, man. They shut down knockout city. All right, I'm out.